short, Michael. When you get him in, in, in the at close, throw the uppercut. But they got to be in the middle and short. As we await Tapia and Romero, this note, Carbajal fought both of them in the amateurs. Tapia defeated him on a decision in the amateurs. And when they were real little, he sparred with uh, and fought with Romero. Kind of unusual for Michael Carbajal to be on the undercard of a junior bantamweight world championship fight, but Carbajal is quite comfortable with it because he knows Tapia and Romero well, as Larry points out, and he said he can't wait to get out of the dressing room after the fight and come back in and watch. Baby Jake Matlala in the second round threw 133 punches. So he's thrown more than 250 punches in two rounds, and he's going right back to work here in round three. And he's 35 years old, George. Yeah, that's <laughs> nothing these days. <laughs> he's only Still 35. Wet behind the ear. Carbajal is making a gigantic mistake lying up against those ropes. Someone should teach these guys that the ring, although it's square, you should fight it in the circle. Carbajal backing into the corner there and giving McLala a chance to do some damage to the body again. McLala not a very hard puncher, but he keeps at it. Pesky little contact hitter. Hit to right, bunt, move the runner along. Doing a good job of it. Let me tell you, when you put those gloves on, you may not get knocked out by them, but every punch hurts. Good right hands. This is a series of about three this round. There's a good left hook to the body by Carbajal. Just a tiny bit short with the left hook upstairs as he doubled up. Chopping right hand over the top lands for Carbajal. Atlala landing more punches. Carbajal landing the harder blows. Took lands up top for Carbajal. He didn't really have his feet set. Matlala comes right back, throwing punches in bunches. Right hand landed for Matlala. One of his hardest punches so far. It's a lead right hand also. That's hard to hit a taller guy with. But he feints to the left and then throws it with great effect. He's got head movement at all times. And whenever Carbajal is throwing, his hands are up because he's shorter. Carbajal is hitting his gloves a lot. Carbajal, just a little bit wide with a straight right hand, lands the jab. Michael hasn't gone back to the body when Jack, or Jake Matlala comes at him. And Matlala continuing to keep Carbajal busy as he throws and throws some more. Lively action in round three. He's, he's open. When you catch him, you don't punch him. He's open. open. Yeah. He's open. When you kept him with his punches, keep them up. Keep your punches up. Set them upstairs. Yeah. You're looking very good. Don't let him rest. Don't let him rest. He's very good. Here you see Baby Jake with his two quick little right hands. You can't see him coming. Short arms, short punches, not a lot of power in them. But they add up because right now he seems to be out hustling Carbajal. Well, Carbajal landed half the punches he threw in round number three, but by punch stat computations, he threw 47 fewer punches than Matlala. So as Larry points out, Matlala continuing to keep Carbajal busy with his own relentless drive. Harold, how do you have it scored? Jim, 2-1, to 29-28, baby Jake Matlala. Just like Larry says, baby Jake is out working him. He stays on top of him, and he just keeps throwing and throwing and throwing. I think he's winning this on, a, on effective aggressiveness, which is a big part of scoring boxing. An upset would make the 35-year-old Matlala a title contender for the first time in his career and would pose serious questions as to Carbajal's future. Carbajal has this look of, I can believe this. In the last two boxing matches he's been in, he's had this belief, I don't know what's happening, I can't believe it. And he's fighting like it. 
I'm the better man. Why are these guys hitting me? Well, he's getting outworked again, George, and he got outworked against Pastrana, so this is the second time this year that Carvajal's faced the same situation. He couldn't find a way to turn it around against Mauricio. Let's see if he can do it against Baby J. It's a, it's a mistake of trainers. You got a guy who can fight, make him fight, train him to fight. Forget this step around jabbing. Now Carvajal left starts to land the right hand with some purpose. Two straight right hands woke the crowd up. Atmala comes back with a right, left, right of his own. And another combination there. Carvajal pausing to regain his bearings after throwing various punches at Matlala. Matlala takes advantage of the pause to come right back at it. Matlala is like Pac-Man. He just keeps coming. Be a good nickname for a fighter. I'm telling you, you hit him with good shots and you expect him to give you some respect, and he just waits and starts jumping on you again. Carvajal with a right and a left to the body. Baby Jake lands a left to the body of his own. Constant head movement from Matlala, but Carvajal is able to land a left hook against the side of Matlala's head. Just misses the chin with another left hook and backs away. Carvajal is getting smart now. Get away from those ropes. Stay away from the ring. Carvajal is starting to work to put more room between himself and Matlala so that that long right hand can begin to count for something. And if he can, he can keep things even if he stays off those ropes. Maybe Jake Scorer yelling for him to stay inside on Carvajal's chest. Right hand lands for Matlala. You see, when Matlala throws those right hands, Carvajal is against the ropes. He's got nowhere to run. He's hit. He has to get hit. Two punches after the bell by Carvajal. Richard Steele asks Michael to pause and warns him against more punching after the bell. Well, coming up in October, HBO's exclusive documentary, Where Have You Gone, Joe DiMaggio.